Glock family. Welcome to the shop. Today's episode, we're working on the Raptor. What sound just came out? That's a Raptor, bro. <laughs> All right, guys, working on the Raptor today. Just installing new taillights. This is gonna be a really easy installation. It's literally bolt off the old ones, bolt on the new ones, hopefully, pretty sure. So it should be bolt, bolt, plug and play. So going with some LED taillights because one of these actually has some moisture in it and um, this one burnt out, like the upper bulb and this one burnt out. So rather than replace the bulb, we're just replacing the whole taillight. So this bulb went out, but when you're in the cab, right, and you're driving, it, it flashes quickly. So you don't know what bulb it is. It could be the front one, it could be the back one, or it could be like, with this truck it has these little ones in the mirrors as well and so i'm like well i should probably just replace all of them so in this episode we're focusing on the taillights so all right tail lights this is the left side sure right side all right unpackage there we go you guys might recognize these taillights, very similar design to the ones that I had on my Tacoma. I'm gonna do the snap on that one. Just like that. All right, so we should have this one, which sets in a friction piece, and then these two, which are that one and that one. Just as uh, easy as that. Uh, whoa, look at that. Look, dirty. That's a connector. So is that one. <laughs> whoa. It's great. Three connectors. It's great working with you. Bro. What do you know? <laughs> All right, First, so. First, depress the tabs on the upper connector. Wiggle back and forth with not too much force. It's Pull actually. Pull outward while wiggling. It actually sounds like a training video. <laughs> It kind of is. On the gray connector, depress the upper tab while pulling backwards and holding your tongue sideways. <laughs> <laughs> On Sunday. <laughs> On Sunday. Before. After. <laughs> Before. After. After. That is pretty much going to replace that harness and plug directly into there. Yay. The bottom one will also Yay. be the same into there. And then this Good job. is going to go into there. So we need to remove that little piece. And we got the bottom connector. There we go. Hey, go you. Hey, Fitz. All right, so after you have all of your connectors, you're going to line up here mm -hmm. to there, there, one there, and, and one this there. Black. All right, repeat, same on the other side. Ta-da! Counterclockwise. This one connected up the same. Let's go ahead and test it before we get it back together. Chris, you want to hit that lock button for me? Unlock. Hooray! Purdy. Before. After. Before. After. Before. After. Before. After. Yeah, so mostly red. Still a little black in there, but blacked out, smoked. Looks a lot better. I like it. If you guys are interested in the taillights, check it out. Links down below. Changes the look a lot, obviously. And I'm pretty sure it's the same company that I had for the taillights on my Tacoma. And those are great. I had them a couple years with no issues. So next up, third brake light. So this one is a LED with some LED filament as well. Much brighter, which is a nice perk because it lights up the bed a little better than the stock one. And it's also more visible for people behind you. So when you're stepping on brakes and all that. To install this, uh, unfortunately it is not plug and play. The one that I got does have a couple wires. So we're gonna have to do some wiring, but they do send you destructions. Solid black wire is the splice to the ground for brake and cargo light. The red is the uh, 12 volt for the brake light. And then the white is splice to positive for 12 volt for cargo light. Easy enough there. In terms of the install, this is what the light looks like. The box that it came in, LED third brake light available in clear smoked. We went smoked because we're blacking out the Raptor. So this is what it looks like beforehand.
Yep. It is an older truck. It is nice and yellowed. It is showing some age. So, removing that, easy enough. You just got bolt here, bolt here, screw. Looks like Phillips. Well, it looks like somebody might have messed with that one at a time or two. Maybe to replace the lenses. That'll get it though. Huh? The Philips. So, there's a difference. A uh, pretty significant difference <laughs> between the two. I mean, old and busted. New hotness. Old and busted. New hotness. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Oh, thanks. <laughs> Sold that too. Let's see, we're gonna leave that much. So if we ever have to go back for any stupid reason, we can. And since this is just left, we're just gonna lop it off. Red, white to black, and then black to white. Detailing under the under the third tail light. That's right. What? I mean, well, now when here. you go to the car show, you can put your mirror right here next to it just to show people that you clean behind it. <laughs> okay. I'm yeah, it saying. sounds stupid, doesn't it? Well, don't hit what you're doing. <laughs> kind of stupid. Aren't you the person that says to do the stuff right? Aren't you that guy? Not when I'm waiting. It's late. Not when you're waiting. So not when it's night. Not when it's on your time. <laughs> you don't want to do so. When you have to be inconvenienced, don't do things right. I didn't say that. What it sounded no, like to me. No, you What'd put you, those words. What did in you there? guys hear? That's what I, I heard. Just, what I what I heard was you're being silly wiping that off. That's what I heard. <laughs> Buy a little RTV silicone in the screw holes and on the gasket before you install to ensure a nice watertight seal and enjoy your new recon LED third brake light. And remember to light them up with recon truck accessories. Looks much gooder whenever the light is not on. All right, let's see it. Oh. Look, I've got about 25 minutes Ford Raptor experience now. Tell you what. Got a couple more years to go. <laughs> <laughs> tell you what. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I don't know what. 25 years experience and he's speaking country. Because I'm working on a Ford now. Goddamn right. It's very bright. <laughs> Somebody's having problems. All right. Thank you, sir. Dude. <laughs> All right, when you're done, clean your roof. There you go. Third brake light Dunzos. Looks a lot better than that old plasticiness. Wow. If you guys are interested, scoop it up. Link down in the description below. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Thank you, Chris, for the help. Chris Sick Wide Glide, you guys go give him a follow. 25 year master level technician for motorcycles, but he's a 25 minute master level technician for Ford trucks now. <laughs> Day two. Swoosh. <laughs> like that? Yeah, perfect. All right, Wes recommended that intro. In the garage. Joining me, Wes, Face Nectar. Go give him a follow, continuing some upgrades, basically bringing it up to speed. And we are going to be replacing the headlights. Even though these are HID, really nice headlights. Aesthetically, you guys know, you know, I'm kind of a design snob. I like what you like. It's, <laughs> it's fine. I'm changing out the headlights to this set of headlights over here from Morimoto. I ordered these, I don't know, like a week or so ago. Apparently they're really popular because it was really hard to find them in stock places, but they are the Morimoto XB LED headlights, 09 through 14 for the Ford F-150. Really like the packaging, a little wraparound design. And that box is way heavier than I thought it would be just for headlights. Cause I mean, these headlights, I mean, they don't look that big, but I guess they're heavy. This is what the stock ones look like. A little yellowy, I mean, they definitely have a lot of wear on them. Like they're real close up, like they're starting to basically haze up just from years of, or the truck has 112,000 miles on it, so. They've definitely seen a lot of use. These ones should just be plug and play. Let's go ahead, open them up. What are we using today? That one hasn't been used in a oh, yeah. long, a long time. Mini car? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, I love that <laughs> <laughs> Fox 
inside a box. Yeah. Box two. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, so there's everything that was in the bag. Some kind of explanation of condensation not equaling a water leak. Uh, and then up-to-date installation guide, we have to go to their website, morimotohid.com, and click the installation guide button. And we got a couple extra harnesses, and this looks like a inline fuse. All right, so we've got instructions here on the website, and these are really nice instructions. Really great pictures, and uh, they do seem very detailed. So we're gonna follow the instructions on getting these headlights out. All right, so in the middle of our install, Laurel has arrived. Hi. A wild Laurel has appeared. A wild Laurel. What did you say? Like you wanted to do the yeah, satisfying it just, peel? it sounded, or it seems like it'll be really satisfying. All right. Oh yeah. Oop. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. That was good. <laughs> it's like bubble wrap. Those are nice. Those are nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take this one off too. Oh, yeah. Damn bro, is that a snap on? Yeah man. How we roll. I'm doing this so poorly. <laughs> there you go. And this guy. Hey, yeah, just do that. Oh. <sighs> Band aid time. Also, there's a nest. <laughs> it's a mandate. Yeah, it's fine. All right, so start unplugging the harnesses. There we go. One more on the bottom. All right, so old and busted. New hotness. New hotness. <laughs> old and busted. New hotness. <laughs> so I do want to weigh these because, dude, the stock ones are significantly lighter weight than these. All right, eight pounds, 9.2 ounces. Yeah, we're looking at 10 pounds, nine ounces, 8.9 ounces. That's kind of crazy. It's like only two pounds, but it feels I don't know, quite a bit more. So while we've got all this open, take the opportunity to clean out any nests that you might have. All right, so the next step, guys, is to uh, locate the indicated fuse in the underhood fuse panel, which is going to be the red number 10 right here so between the yellows damn i was in there all right and then after that you uh fit the provided fuse tap into the location of the removed fuse the easy boy goes that way yep done all right so little adapters if you've got the hids goes into that one there it's only one that it can go into it uh, won't fit those. All right, so now we're ready to go ahead and start connecting the harnesses here to the harnesses on the Morimoto headlight. Yeah. Clip. And then this one. All right, so we ran the line underneath here along this harness and then down underneath the mud flap through this same opening for the lines. And then that's just power for the uh, running lights, I believe. So apparently the piece here is for the uh, sequential turn signal toggle. So if you unplug it, it uh, blinks sequentially, or if you leave it plugged in, it's standard. So we're going to, yeah, leave it plugged in just to see standard. Those are bright. Yep. Those are really bright. <laughs> All right, so that's standard. Yeah, those are crazy bright. So that's standard. Let me uh, turn the hazards off just so we can see the regular running lights. Jesus, <laughs> that's incredibly bright. Yeah. Here so there's a problem solved. A before and after. <laughs> Did you put sunglasses on? Yeah. <laughs> you actually get running light functionality versus 
none stock. Now, let's go ahead and uh, disconnect that piece on the back so we'll get that sequential functionality. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Compared to the. <bleh. laughs> <laughs> All right, Morimoto. Stock. <laughs> Morimoto. Stock. All right, so let's get this thing mounted up and then we'll uh, actually show you the headlights stock compared to Morimoto. All right, so before we put the headlight in, there are, you know, open connections here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use this silicone tape, uh, which is weatherproof, heat proof, all that stuff. Uh, to pretty high temps, pretty low temps as well. I'm just gonna wrap that up so that no water, mud, all that stuff gets into it. And then we're gonna do some zip ties to kind of bundle all the wiring so it's a bit neater. All right, cleaned up. Much gooder. That's how that silicone tape looks. Very nice. All right, now place everything back in. Obviously make sure you line everything up. These little pieces and the holes back there. All right, we are in, good there. Lined up, lined up. Lined up, replace the bolts, 10 millimeters, and we're good. All right, tighten, tighten, tightened, and place the little mud guard back. Mine has seen better days. Well, that just kind of pushed it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was supposed to do that. All right, there you have it. That one's installed. Pete, the same for that one. So we're just gonna breeze through that one real quick and uh, just follow the same destructions. So check it out guys, I was actually able to run this fuse extension around here to where the terminal is uh, so we don't didn't have to dremel out and drill this all right wire is all zip tied so we're good to go no other tools laying underneath here yep Looks a lot better than stock. There you go. That's the install of the Morimoto XB LED headlights for 09 through 14 Ford F-150s. Little on the pricier side, but as you guys can see, or I hope you can see through the video, they're uh, pretty quality. I mean, what would you say in terms of? They look good. Yeah. I like them, yeah. And then like the housing and all the rest of the stuff, the wiring, like everything feels very premium. It's uh, definitely not cheaply done. And the fact that they weigh more than stock. Uh, yeah, that's how you guys install those. Pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, if you need to adjust, obviously you're gonna have to get to the back of them. It's gonna be a little difficult as there's not really much access, but we're keeping our fingers crossed that they're adjusted correctly. If not, check out the website and it'll uh, go over the adjusters and all that stuff. Big thanks to Wes for helping me with the install. Appreciate you, sir, as always. If you guys have any questions on these, drop them down in the comments below. Let me know. The work on the Raptor continues. I don't know what's next. Uh, oh yeah, actually I do. We got wheels in, so new wheels coming up soon. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like. If you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. Hit the bell icon so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. Until next time, I gotta start saying like wrench safe for like non-riding episodes or something, right? Wrench safe, drive safe, watch out for tourists. <laughs> If you live in Orlando, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Peace.